What's up, boys and girls of YouTube? So the new god is on the PTS. We only have three days to play it. He's fucking crazy. He is crazy. I think he's gonna be played a little bit more bruiser. Right now, you see my build is pretty much full damage. Um, with his lack of mobility, I think there's a chance he might be played full bruiser, but he's fucking broken. So your first ability is a range damage, right? And then you get a ranged auto attack that'll slow. It does do damage. And then if you get in range, you will pull your one back and the cooldown will be reduced on it by 40%. Fucking crazy. This shit is broken. So you hit your one, you can slow them and you run up and you get it back. And then you can one again and then you get it back. So if you're at this range, one gets it back. One gets it back. One gets it back. He's on a two second cooldown. So if you have 40% CDR right now, I've red pot, I have full cdr i'm not on god mode or whatever it's a six second cooldown with full cdr as you can see if i go over here to reduce cooldown we have a two second cooldown because it'd be bullshit mode 80 percent or whatever so here you go it's a spammable ability boom spam spam so your one is crazy your two is an ability which does a left hit a right hit and then an overhand hit the left hit disarms the right hit disarms and max rank is 2.5 seconds which is crazy so you out trade people in auto attack fights final damage is a big dunkerino with a 1.4 second stun the thing is left hit right hit over hit you can hit both sides you can just just tweak to the left tweak to the right it's crazy this god is nuts left hit right hit boom so be disarm disarm stunnerino crazy shit and then your three is this moon ability moon shaped ability which goes like that and then you get a ranged waboomba that double hits and it's pretty fucking hard um so after casting the ability your next basic attack becomes ranged this attack deals bonus true damage so it's the bonus damage the true damage scales as you can see I, it hits for 124 right now so it's like a 30% scaling um, ability. Am I, am I doing my, my quick mass right? Am I doing my quick mass? No, 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 no. It's a little bit less than that. It's like a, a, a 20, 25% scaling ability. So I don't know the exact numbers on that. I haven't looked it up. So you've got this three, which only does damage if they move. And then you have this ranged ability, which is sick. So you can kind of trap them in there and make a move. It also slows when they're on it. It's like this, this Odin bot, you throw it out. He's slowed, he's slowed, boom. So realistically, you could do a one, right? A one, you slow, you three to another slow, ranged hit, come back up, get the one back, boom. And then you can hit with the disarm, a disarm, and an overhand. You have to be fast with the disarms. Final ability is the ultimate. The ultimate bounces and does a ton of damage. Essentially, you got the beam damage, which goes off four times. You've got one, two, three, four. And then you've got these dashes. This is a level one so we're not we're, we're gonna we're gonna pretend we didn't actually hit that i kind of wish i hadn't uh reset cooldown boom all right so four beams one two three four so there's like almost 500 damage and then it hits multiple times um you can see it hit hit the numbers are all skewed up because i fucked it up and used it too many times you can see the damage numbers are really high so it'll hit an enemy uh up to three the each beam can hit up to three enemy gods, right? So you can go through your ultimate can hit boom and boom. Okay. And then you fire after firing each of the beams, you do the little dash damage, which is what you saw me just doing right there. I want the numbers to fully reset so I can show you guys exactly how good this is. If you just hit one person versus hitting multiple people, uh, this would be good for the game if there was a quick reset right here so like i said you have a spammable one if you're in melee range like you literally boom 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 like you could you could combo you could one right and then two overhand and then one again during the sun and that's like a bajillion damage right still waiting for this all to fall off where you see it's got the uh the strikes hitting all right so if you want one person right so you're just 1v1 and you're like okay i'm gonna kill this guy one beam two beams three beams four beams dash 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 right so the dash is hit eight times 1400 damage to a level 20. i'm obviously full build i'm popping off i'm doing the good good right you can do a ridiculous amount of damage with this ultimate ability a ridiculous amount of damage dude so you got the beam 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 boom boom and then you go over here boot the boom boom it's ridiculous 
ridiculous it appears each beam controls four dashes essentially on uh on these targets as you saw i hit this twice so we got the four eight dashes and then we hit this again and we got a few more dashes God seems really good. I mentioned the bruiser build because you don't have a lot of mobility. You do have the ability to self peel. You have the stun. You've got the three to slow and run through and kite around and then hit him with the extra damage. You've also got the one and then you can hit the range slow to keep him away or to catch up. This God is fucking crazy. I want to do a quick breakdown of the God because this dude is going to be fun as shit. Just straight up. This is going to be... This is... This is going to be one of the most fun assassins we've probably seen in a long time. I was a little worried about how it would play out. I'm not all that worried now. See the boom, the slow. You get it right back, dude. You get them with the slow. Your combos are just crazy, dude. The combos are crazy. They're crazy. You hit with the ult arena, bing, bang, boom, bomb. And then the ding, dong, do, 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 do. One health. Boom. He's dead. It's crazy. This shit is nuts. It blows my fucking mind. Remember, you've got the three slow into the range ability into the one and then there, you can just slap You can slap. Oh, whoa, 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 buddy. I'm trying to I'm trying to show the people how you work relax This shit is just wild to me. It blows my mind. So you hit him with the one you get the hydras proc Right You just you do a lot of damage. You have the potential to do a lot of damage. I don't know what to tell you. I like reading this on paper and watching them run around on the character did not feel quite this crazy. You can see the damage numbers 285 and then a 256 on the scaling. So the scaling is pretty fucking good. I think we're that is like 60% or something like that. So that's a 500 plus damage ability. That's on a one second cooldown if you're on top of somebody. Then you've got the swing damage, which is doing almost 300 and then almost 300 again and then it's doing a slam hit for almost 500 for for 500 so you got boom 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 so you <laughs> you literally have 300 300 500 and then your three the damage on the dot on the on the moon is kind of kind of cool to have but then it's all about the range throw dude the final throw you get the uh the true damage of the 114 on top of it which is where where it's nice you hit them with the boom and you see you get that damage it's just nuts i don't know why it doesn't show me that damage anyway that true damage is crazy and the alt damage you've got your beam hitting for 110 plus 57 scaling hitting four times you've got 150 times four you've got 600 damage and then you have the dash damage which is 215 plus 156 right now this is for me because my scaling my items are built up uh so you're looking at just under 400 damage uh for the dash damage so you had with the boom beam This god is going to be uh, just this is so it's so fun just running around in here. I'm having fun just running around in here, dude. I don't know what else to tell you other than I just I, I don't know. Like you have a sick combo if you want them and you're the slow and then you hit them with the two and then the slam and then your ones up again during that you can hit it with the three slow so they have to run over it and take more damage. So realistically your combo to catch up to somebody like if you aren't right on top of them you're probably gonna one right you're gonna one them again to catch up slow them and then during that time you could also three if they don't have a dash so boom the slow hit them with this slow and then hit them with the stun and then your ones back up again your full combo and if you need to you can ultimate now if you're trying to get the most out of your hydras procs it's gonna be played a little bit differently because you're gonna look for maybe throwing out the three then hitting with this and then hitting with the one and then hitting with the two and getting as much out of your hydras as you can a lot of damage potential a lot of combo potential and then i'll just show you the alts um through through three so you got the boom 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 hit all three of them every time you go in order of how the beam hit so it hit one two three so we dashed around like that one two three <laughs> and this this guy is crazy i'm i'm really excited to get a good team fight in to see you just ping ponging around because like you could go from this guy to this guy to this guy like all the way around like you can go across the whole everything you can bounce around from anywhere if people dash or move you'll go to them so that could be a downside early game but in team it could be a downside in team fights if you go in and your team doesn't follow you you might get taken back to the fucking shadow realm but like you just hit him with the, the all and then you come all the way over here like you can go anywhere with this character man and then you come out with a big old alt right on top of them one well, problem is is once you land on top of them you're gonna be fucking dying probably 
I'm the, just guessing hybrid builds are going to be core. Uh, your sledge probably going to be core. Getting CDR online going to be really strong. So this might be a character where you see maybe a crusher rush. You see a sledge. You see some CDR like a Jotuns. Maybe you see a mantle of discord. Um, you're going to see a little bit of hybrid built into there. More than likely to, to see it played consistently. That 277, 277, 500 overhand. The one hits for 540 right now. Then you get a Hydra's proc. This is just what is crazy to me because you boom, boom, boom. Right? Like the, the multi hits is crazy. Throw the three down, hit him with that, hit him with that. During the ult, you also take reduced damage, I believe. I don't know if it mentions it here. Yeah, you take 50% reduced damage in your ultimate. So, uh,. If it'll stay channels the power of the full moon gaining crowd control immunity and 50 percent damage reduction so during this you're reduced to, you're taking reduced damage so not only is it like oh fuck i need to jump around and maybe live a little bit longer you also take less damage during that time so it's just really crazy dude you can move around the, the you have like a like bologna slam jamma too you have that on your two on this it feels really clean character feels so smooth dude I just, Pon Pon, you did a great job with this character. Guys, hopefully this helps you understand how the character works when you go to jump into it, whether you play it on live on the console or you get on PTS tonight. I'm going to be playing this god for the next like 20 hours. So I'll have a ton of gameplay for you guys over the next month. Be looking for it.